Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Nick. Let's go to you our journeys. Episode 18, The Bait. Katie in trouble, a legit killer fugitive. And now they can't find the money donated to Mary's for charity. So where's the money? Without a chef, without the money, without a clear case, will the truth come to light? No. Dimitri is a horrible person. They robbed Mary safe. Somebody must have broken in recently. I'm going to talk to Macy. Babe, you can't. You'll compromise her safety and yours. But yes, you're right. It's just that it's eating me alive. It kills me that I can't see my friends. Yeah, I know it's hard. At least I was able to see Celestine. And she's safe with Ava. I was so relieved when she showed up. Me too. So where's the money? The charity money. Hi Ava, what's up? What do you mean she's restless? What happened? Celestine is upset. She wants to leave the house. Because you leave. Sure Ava, you need me to calm her down. You got it. Let her talk to her dad. Mommy to the rescue. Let me do it. When are you coming home? Never. Soon, my angel. Remember, don't tell anyone that you saw me today. Who am I going to tell? Eva won't let me see anyone. Wow, kidnap. Tonight, we'll play that board game that Mary gave you. Meanwhile, enjoy Eva's cookies. Yay, board game. I love you, Bobby. She was pretty calm. It makes me happy to talk to her. Pretty calm like that, really? I can't wait to be free. We really are a great team. And as a great team, we have a great mission. Did you get the briefcase? Of course. What else does the logistics specialist recommend? Step into my office and we'll finalize the details, officer. The briefcase has Katie's bail money. The one Rena prevented us from paying. How did you get that money? From my father. I went to give it back to him, but he said we might need it. And thanks to him, we have the perfect bait for Victor. Yeah, I can think of a better one, except for giving Victor like a million dollars, seriously. But how do we get that rat's attention? He may have gone into hiding, but his henchmen are always lurking. I can go find him. No, Victor has a lot of advantages over you in his turf. That's true. One of us should try to blackmail him. Blackmail him? Hell no. You do your thing. Noah had a closer relationship with him. Yeah, Archie and Flora already had a bad run in with Victor. It's my turn. Not that I look forward to seeing him again, of course. But you guys are worth it. And I'll be able to get back at him. That's the spirit I know you'll do fine. We trust you and we'll follow you closely in the food truck. Then let's go over it. Noah carries the briefcase. And he tells one of his minions that he must see Victor about a big deal. If I show the briefcase, Victor will no doubt show up. I hate that you're putting yourself in danger like this. It's necessary and believe me, I know how to deal with these people. Okay, but you have to wear a wire for your safety and for the confession to be recorded. Archie will be able to monitor from the close ring with the food truck. Of course. Good, we'll park nearby and we can help Noah if we have to. So stiff, Noah. Can you hear me? We can hear you perfectly. Can you hear us? Yes, I see someone. Good luck. You'll need it. 
I gave the message to one of his minions. You heard, didn't you? Loud and clear. Stop talking to your clothes. Now I'll be quiet in case Victor shows up or I'm being spied on. You're doing a flawless job, Noah. And don't worry, we're behind you every step of the way. No, you're not, Adam. There he is. Take one another step and you're dead beat. He must be holding a gun to him. We have to help him. Let's wait a while. Any sudden move now might be fatal. You don't need a gun. I came here on business. Worth millions, by the way. You're lying. I know you're with those idiots from Mary's. With that filthy cook. Side with him. Try to negotiate. If that's going to be your attitude, let's call the whole thing off right now. I thought you were a serious man that you'd be interested in a solid business deal. I see you're not the man you used to be. Are you calling me a coward? Yes. I not at all. It's just that. Tell me, you bastard. Why did you come here? Spill it. To get your confession, of course, Victor. Noah's way in over his head. Do you hear that sound? It's from the microphone. He must be shaking. We can't leave him alone. He's risking his life for us. For you especially, actually. You're too scared. Yeah, tell him exactly what to say. I'll handle it. What do you suggest? Noah, listen to me carefully. First of all, we're here. We got your back. Take a deep breath. Don't be afraid. Victor, I assure you, you'd better listen to me. Now tell him this, I know you think I'm with those rich guys, but the truth is that they're not expecting what I've got in store for them. The money in this briefcase is nothing compared to what they've got. What are you talking about? All the money they've collected at the charity event at Mary's, it's in their house. And all we have to do is go get it. What do you say? I don't see why I should trust you. Good, Noah. Good. Now open the briefcase. Will you trust me now? Yeah, that's a lot. Where did you get all that? It's part of the money collected. Isn't this why you went to Mary's in the first place? Yes, but that idiot Boris got in my way. And I had to stab him with the chef knife. I didn't even want to think about going to prison, so I left right away. As a coward, he confessed everything. All of it. Great work, Noah. Now get out of there. You recorded it, right? That'd be so stupid if you don't record that. Yes, it's all here. Noah, you did it. Let him go. Don't take any more chances. Take it. Consider it a down payment. That's easy. You bitch! At last we meet! Killer to killer. Thank you friend for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys on our next journeys.